Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. While we continue on with our little WooCommerce features here, I've got an image right here. I've got an add to a cart button over the top of it. This is one of our products, little striped shirt there. When I click on it, add to cart, it's going to add it to the cart. As we see, we've got one item added to our cart there. Really easy to do, no plugins or extra coding involved in this today. I'll show you exactly how to do it. It's really easy and a great little feature to have on your e-commerce store. So let's enable the visual builder. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I'll delete this and we'll start from scratch. Okay, well, I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside this section, I've got a green tab, a row with two columns. We're working on the second column here today. Let's add a new module. I'm going to go down. I'm going to roll all the way down to the bottom. And here it says Woo, Pro, Woo Modules. Now to use this today, you'll have to have WooCommerce installed. This doesn't show up unless you've got WooCommerce installed and, and obviously you're going to need some products. I've got all that. So I'm going to hit the Woo Modules. And it gives us a load of little modules to use with our WooCommerce. And if I roll up a little bit, there's plenty of them. I want a Woo add to cart. So if we roll down a little bit more, Woo product add to cart. It's going to open up. Let's just pop this over here so we can see what's going on to the right. And we've actually got to select a product to put in there. So again, let's have a look at our products. I've got my products open over here and let's use everyday shirts right there. I'm actually going to copy the address for this because we can make the whole module link to this product page if we want to. So I can copy this link address. Okay, we can go back and that was everyday shirts. So there's everyday shirts. It's going to update. And there we have it. And we've got 50 in stock and the number that you want to add to the cart. I'm probably going to get rid of the stock number and the, the amount there and just have the add to cart button. We can do that in elements just below here. Show quantity field. That's that. I'm going to turn that off and show stock. I'm going to turn that off as well. Great. And in the link, the button's just going to add it to the cart, but I want them, if they click on the module to go to that product, we just copied that link so we can pop the link to that product in here. And we're linking to the same site, so I'll leave it in the same window. Now here comes the fun part. I'm going to put an image of the background, or I should say I'm going to put an image of the actual product in the background here. And we've got a color gradient image, what we're going to use today, video, background pattern, or background mask. So let's use a background image and we'll find the picture of that shirt. There it is right there. And upload the image. Now we can't see a whole lot at the moment. We've got a button there to the side and this doesn't look too good. So let's make it our own. I'm going to go over to my des design tab now. First things first, let's make the button a bit more interesting. So I'm going to go down to the button. I'm going to use custom styles. I'm going to flip the switch to on. And just for fun, let's make the button purple. Text colors white. Background purple. And let's have it blue on hover, perhaps. Common to all DV modules. If you roll over the dark writing, go up to what you want. Some little icons will appear. Little arrow. We can set a hover state for it. So when we hover over it, the little arrow there, let's turn it to blue, perhaps. Great. Now we'll flip it back to desktop mode. Button border, well, I don't want a border on there at all. I'm going to take that off, so take that down to zero. Great. Well, that's going to do it for me with the button. Let's roll down a bit further. I'm going to turn my icon, Let's see if we can find a cart. There's a lot of icons to choose from. They just teamed up with Font Awesome. A cart with a plus, I think that will work for me. There we go. That's great. I'm going to leave the button icon where it is. 
But margin, well, I'm not going to do anything with that at the moment. I think I'll put a bit of box shadow on the bottom of the button. And we're going to place the button in the middle, round about the bottom of our image. But to make this image work, we've got to add a bit of padding to make it the size and aspect that we want to. So if we keep rolling down under the design tab, we can go to spacing. Let's perhaps put 250 on the top. Just put in the 250, it'll put in the pics. That's better. We can start seeing some more of that now. And let's add, say, 20 to the bottom. That's about right. Could probably do a little bit more. Say 260. Great. Well, that's going to work for me. But I want that button in the middle. So I need to give it a bit of padding on the left hand side. So let's perhaps, I'm going to use percentage of this. Let's perhaps give it 35%. I think that's what I used before. And that's fairly central. That's pretty much going to work for me. But let's check it on tablet and mobile too. So padding, I'm going to go to the little mobile phone icon. Same as the hover effect, hover up over any of the dark writing, you'll get the icons up. If there's a little phone there, we can check it on tablet. To roll it up so we can see and that looks pretty good to me on tablet i think i'll adjust that image so we can see more of her face in the picture let's have a look on mobile roll up to where it is yeah i think that's okay a little bit over to the left there let's take that 35 down to maybe 30. That looks more central to me, and we'll check it on the tablet as well. I think it does need 35 on the tablet, so let's make... I think the 35 on the tablet's okay. You can adjust it if you need to. And back to desktop mode. And I think that's going to work for me. Great, so finally, let's just adjust this image in the background here. So we'll go back to the content, down to the background, go over to image. I'm going to roll down a bit. Background image position, I'm going to say top left. There we go. We've got more of a face in there and we can see, still see the shirt nicely. So we should be good to go. I think I'll just add a little box shadow because that's what we got on the little slider next door to it just so they look similar. So back into design. Roll on down, here's box shadow. Let's pop a little box shadow on there just to lift it off the page a bit. We'll save our changes here. Let's go down to the bottom. A little purple button. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. Go on down. And there's our little product in image with an add to cart button on it. Remember we put the link in there. So let's firstly add it to the cart. At the moment the cart's got one item in it. If I hit the add to cart. Now we've got two items in there. That's great. If I click on the actual image itself, it should take me to the product page for that particular product. And there we go, it's taking us to the actual product itself. So there you go guys, there's how to add an add to cart button over a product image using the Divi theme and WooCommerce. And that's a really nice feature to have on your e-commerce site. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.